What is up everybody? Thank you for tuning into this video where today I'm going to get super real with you guys. I'm going to show you a tangible example about how the 11 life lessons that I've learned from traveling have changed. I don't want to say changed my life, but like it hasn't been that extreme, but have given me the opportunity to do crazy, amazing things. So if you guys don't know, I'm currently in San Diego hanging out with some people that I met uh, for the past month or so. And something that I've always wanted to do on my travel adventures is ride a jet ski. And so last Sunday, I decided that, or last Saturday, I decided that um, ra renting a jet ski is really expensive. It's like $100 for like an hour or two hours, something like that. It's just not worth it. So I decided to take life lesson number two, which is to always ask and apply it. So I went down to Mission Bay, which is a popular place where people like to pull out their jet skis, their boats, all their aqua vehicles and uh, do those on the bay. And so I went down to the bay randomly. It was like four o'clock in the afternoon. I was asking everybody what they were doing there. Nobody was doing anything. I was like, all right, I'm going to go try to ride a jet ski. I went down to the bay, started walking around asking people who I saw who had jet skis saying, hey, would you mind taking me out on your jet ski? Letting me see what it's like. I travel and do all kinds of things and whatnot. And a couple people said no. And then I kept asking other people. And then I finally was like, got to this fourth guy uncle dave who was by the way the coolest guy ever he actually let me go out on his jet ski he was really excited about it and he even let me drive his jet ski which was the craziest thing ever so i pretty much just took life lesson number two applied it and i want to show you guys a little bit about what it got me so here's a little clip of me going out with uncle dave on a jet ski hi this is what happens when you find somebody nice enough to give you a ride on a jet ski for the first time! Woo! How fast does it go? Oh, I have no idea. No idea, that doesn't matter. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You. Thanks again, man. I really appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Uncle Dave? Yes. So there you guys go. That is what I got to do because I was not afraid to ask. Well, actually, let me just rephrase that. I was a little afraid to ask. Um, I had been thinking about doing this the whole time I was here, but I just hadn't had really the, the momentum, the courage, the energy to do it. So it's not like I'm always unafraid to ask, which I can could totally understand the insecurity of doing that. But I finally did it. I went out and asked, and I got to do something that would have cost me like 150 bucks. I got to do it for free, and I got to meet some awesome guy, Uncle Dave. And uh, he, I actually got to give him, he wanted to see some of the GoPro, GoPro footage, so I sent him that and whatnot. But it was the coolest thing ever, because you never know what will happen until you ask. And the biggest regret that I would ever have is not asking for something. And I'm so glad I finally got the courage to do it. So if you guys are at all interested in learning how to get the courage, learning how to 
phrase the ask correctly so that you can get free things like a tour on a jet ski or anything else, please do feel free to let me know. If you have a story about you taking one of my life lessons and applying it, I would love to hear that as well. Uh, so send me a message. We can maybe even have you on one of these videos if you want to be. Um, but with that being said, I hope that you guys learn something new every day from these or take something away and that you can share it with somebody you know because my goal as somebody who started the Young Travelers Movement is to inspire high school students and graduate and college graduates or college age students to travel a little bit, learn about themselves, where they want to go with their lives, with their skills, with their future. So with that being said, I really need you to share this with your friends. So until next time, I hope to see you on social media. I hope to talk to you. I hope to get to know you. And high five!